Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 71 of Let's Platinum Neo. Alright, let's see if we can finish this stupid mission off. Uh, you know what, actually, instead of doing that, let's do... Hamaya arrow to the face. Hamaya arrow to the face. And now you, Raven Tengu, roll. You know what I just realised? I was like playing this mission. Um, well, I was recording sort of midday, a little bit after midday, and then I stopped to go eat lunch, and then I did a whole bunch of other things, and I was like, alright, time to keep recording, and then I just realised that it's like almost 5 o'clock now, uh, PM that is, and oh, this could be bad. Oh, thank god he dodged back, he like never does that. Um, yeah, it's almost 5 PM, I wonder if I would have been kicked out of the mission. Probably not kicked out, but yeah. Please. That was risky. I've got to be real careful with this guy, especially on, on this uh, Twilight mission, because it's still difficult. I tried to dodge, didn't work. Chop. I'm, I'm taking it real slow. Roll. That's it. One more. Don't let yourself be grabbed by that. Yay, I beat him. <laughs> Tombo Kiri. That can generally be good. Increase damage consecutive attacks. Eh, it's okay. And this one. Oh yeah, so this has an Onmyo Magic damage bonus. So it says increases damage in proportion to your skill with Onmyo Magic. So I've been increasing my Onmyo Magic quite a lot over the course of the game uh, in terms of the the titles. Uh, where Onmyo Magic Power I have 30 already. Um, and I assume it, hang on, status, on your magic power, 209, so it takes like a, I guess a percentage of that number, an A ranking, which would be, I don't know, like almost all of it, oh god, run, <laughs> we did this bit, we're not doing it again, um, yeah, my assumption is that it would take like almost all of it, and then add it to your damage multiplier, but I don't know, I use those weapons in, uh, in my practice and wasn't really that great, which was kind of strange because I'm like, what the hell? Did I spend all that time upgrading the <laughs> on me a magic powerful then? <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Hmm, still not as high as I'd like to see that damage. Okay. Wonder what made the other damage so high. It's weird. Uh. Okay, just checking my recording. Gotta keep an eye on that, because it can always screw up. Uh, Alright, so then in this case, or in that case, I'm just gonna fight this guy. Hashtag ready to die. <laughs> Wait, this guy is a... Friendly to counters. Okay, missed. There we go. Ah. There we go. Beautiful. Onmyo Mage Joe Kutsu. Which are the shoes? Probably not gonna use them, but let's have a look. Uh, not too bad, actually. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. Okay, let's leave it. Um, Alright, so we'll use the shrine and then we'll. To, uh, finish the stage. I think it might be Psyker again. I actually don't remember. Um, but whoever it is, we should be able to win. Strength, and I just barely don't have enough for the next one. And I'm not going to bother using any spirit stones or anything like that. Alright. Let's face off against whoever it is. Um, wind Talisman. Yeah, whatever, who cares. Let's go. It is Psyker. Sloth. Weakness. Avoid. Wind tower. Oh no, I shouldn't have used wind. He's gonna be strong against wind. Alright, then in that case we'll do this. Remember the trick, swap your weapon out, swap your weapon back. Chop, chop, chop. God. He just like lets me punish him. I can't see. I know the bird. The bird's pretty easy to actually avoid because I love doing that, man. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> he actually got me that time. Okay, sloth. Weakness. 
Goddamn planes. <laughs> I was watching a previous episode and I was talking to Iyasu in a in a cutscene and the plane went by at that exact moment. I was like, wow. Great, great um. Oh, how did I not get him before he fell to the ground? Alright, doesn't matter, he's dead. Saika Magoichi Smasher, I accidentally clicked that too quickly, but I'm assuming it was just a picture of the Onmyo Grotto key. Uh, which you do not even get in here. Uh, yeah, Saika Magoichi Smash Smasher is for beating him three times, I think, because I think the other one is Dominator. And then basically it's exactly the same thing, you get to fight this guy again. Except the thing is, no, he's wearing white this time, pretty sure he's wearing a different... Uh, color last time. Like that purple, purpley type color. Alright, and we're done. Don't know why the mission complete takes so long to pop up after you defeat him. Did that in the other one too. Uh, okay, let's finish off. Cool, so we did that. Now I'm actually curious to see what the um, what the next Twilight mission is going to be, because um, it's about 30 minutes until 5 o'clock. So... It'll probably change, well you guys won't see it this episode, but I'll see it after I finish it. And I'm still expecting to keep recording today, so we'll probably get to see what it is. Alright, so we've already read this, and we are done. Let's, uh, that was, uh, wow, what the hell? Hang on a sec, I'll point it out in a second. Let's grab that. Look at my money. I have 1.3 mil. That's like what I had before. <laughs> That's insane. Um, was there anything I wanted to do blacksmith-wise? Let's just use this. Psycho Mega Witchy Smasher. Anything here? Nope. Alright. Amory of Memories. Nah, not yet. Try and find a good place for those. Alright, so I'm just trying to think. Nah, I think we're good. I'll proceed to the next region, we'll look at the, um, I'll show you the country map by the way. So yep, everything complete, beautiful. Love seeing those full, full bars. Uh, I'll proceed to the next region, we'll watch the cutscene, and uh, we'll, I think we have time to do the, the side mission, so it's a good idea. The Battle of Sekigahara divided Japan in two, split between East and West. After Kobayakawa's, hi after Kobayakawa Hideaki's defection, the tide of battle swung sw suddenly in Tokugawa's favour, and victory was soon claimed. The, in the ensuing chaos of twilight quickly faded, and now the time has come to reward the glorious deeds of all those who played their part. Ladies and gentlemen, the final cutscenes before the final region. Let's go. I never realized how much um, Iyasu looks like Pat Morita, otherwise known as um, uh, Miyagi from Karate Kid. Yeah, he looks like Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> um, he asked to, which I guess is appropriate. <laughs> Mr. Miyagi was Japanese from Okinawa. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, cool. So, Mitsunari has run off with Kelly, they're hiding at Mount Ibuki, and uh, Hattori believes that we should go with Tenkai to 
uh, go try and stop him. Good idea, good plan. Uh, okay, so there is no side mission. Damn, there is one after this main mission, but this is going to take me more than this episode. Um, I will do it anyway, because that way I can get a start on it. So, let's go. Mount Ibuki is a mystical mountain that has long flourished as a training ground for aspiring ascetics. Rumours abound that spirit stones can be found there as well, which I'm sure have caught that damned Kelly's attention. As if that weren't enough, I have heard that many of Mitsunari's troops, and maybe even Mitsunari himself, have holed up their, de their following, have holed up there following their defeat at Sekigahara. Just gonna check uh, what my proficiency is. Oh, nice, we got to 500. All right, let's quickly do the dojo mission, and then I can start that. So we're gonna go for the Invincible, and yes, we're versing Sakata Kintoki. So Anjin, you have come. Since you are here, will you not duel with me to see who is the stronger? If you win, I will teach you what I know. Come, let us begin. All right, so he drops a Kaido Axe. Uh, well, he, he can drop the Kaido Axe because he's the Kaido guy, or he's the gear that it's based off. Um, you get a blue Kaido Axe for completing this. Um, but to be honest, the thing that I want the most is probably the, um, the smithing text for the Kaido Axe. That would be really nice. Uh, not necessarily that I'm going to use it um, for end game, but I could. All right, let's go. So I just did a simple block there. Oh, the square. What do you call the L1 plus square? If you're going to try and bring down his key, uh, make sure that you're real close to him uh, when you do, because he can recover quite quickly. There we go. Nice, that was really good. And finish. Oh, Ooh, I kind of deserve to die. Ah, uh, you know what? I, I don't think I did. <laughs> I was gonna say I deserve to die for that one if I. Oh, okay. He used um, a, an ability that increases his damage at the cost of his speed. You can see he's got that same debuff um, that uh, the spider lady has. All right. Don't think I got any smithing texts. Kaido armor, four great commanders, and an elixir. Alright, that's not great, especially because these missions are sort of fixed at 100. I'll show you. Uh, so what do we get? We got like a Kaido armor. Yeah, so you can see that it's 103, so they're sort of around the 100 region. Um, which does suck a little bit, but uh, that's okay. Look at the size of him. <laughs> He's not really that much taller. I mean, he's he's a lot taller. Hang on a sec. He is abnormally tall. Like I think I've said this before, but I I see William as around my height actually, like about five ten. Uh, he doesn't quite look six foot, so that means that like Sakata, I think his name is Kintoki. Yeah, Sakata is like, jeez, he's like close to seven foot. <laughs> And you know what, if this was a real person, I wonder if, like, he was really that big. Because that's really cool. It's kind of like that thing where they said, like, oh, Napoleon... Like, they make fun about Napoleon being short, but he, he was, like, 5'8 or something. And, like, back then, that was... For, for whatever reason, back then, that that's tall. <laughs> um, I don't know why. Like, what, evolution prevents you from getting... Like, you get taller. So does that mean, in, like, 100 years, people will be, like above six foot on on the like just commonly above six six foot i don't know <laughs> it's a bit tricky i am impressed i did not realize how long it had been since i fought a man with this axe so different from fighting demons with your monstrous strength and my technique you will be unstoppable let us duel again sometime i will be waiting so return whenever you wish and we unlock the mystic art for the axe um i'm not gonna purchase it just yet um here's what here's what they do they're both actually kind of annoying so it either massively boosts the damage of attacks that reduce your key to zero or below, or massively boosts the damage when you, uh, you deal when in the yokai realm. Now, out of those two, it's a really hard choice because both of those things happen quite uh, uncommonly and commonly. Like, you know, if you're not really focusing too much on your key awareness, then this is pretty good. But 
if you're not focusing too much on yokai realm, this is really good. So it almost like it almost rewards not being so focused on those things. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty bit of a tricky one. Um, okay, so for this, I'm actually not going to use the Kaido Axe. Now I'm going to use the strongest um, Kusuri Gama that I have, or the best Kusuri Gama. So let's find out what that is, because we need to get that up as well. We haven't used it for a while. Uh, okay, here we go. So what levels are we looking at? The highest is 127, which is this one here. 124 is this close second, 115, close combat attack life drain, killing strike damage, some decent stuff in there. Um, I'll swap this out, and we'll use, honestly let's just go with this one. At least it'll do good damage. Actually, you know what? Maybe I can quickly blacksmith it, just to have some decent um, stuff on it. So, reforge weapon. Uh, let's get rid of those. Oh, it's got... Yeah, so this is an inheritable skill, like I've talked about. When it's inheritable, you can't ri get rid of it. So this is actually not that great, but it is a high level, so... Grapple damage is good, because I'll be using that quite a bit. Nah, no, not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Nope. Nope. That's a really low agility damage bonus. Humans, are there a lot of humans in this one? Yes, I believe there are. But, it's gotta be something better. Eh... Nah, cause that means... Yeah, okay, let's do that. Close combat damage. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Anything else? No, okay, cool. Oh, and I do want to look at... Always try and look at special finds, just in case there's something actually special in here. There's this again. <laughs> Didn't I unlock the... Oh, I did here, it's in the hair style and menu. Um, don't worry about that, we'll do that at the end. Uh, do I have enough to level? No, just shy. Alright, so let's commence. Um, did I read this? Yes, I read this. <laughs> Sorry, I did a whole bunch of other stuff before actually going in. Alright, so we'll get ready, ready with this one and we'll get as far as we can. Mount Ibuki, Ibuki, a mystical mountain that has flourished since the days of the gods, used to be used to be home to many different shrines. However, the age of constant warfare has seen them fall into ruin and decay. Now, instead of a training ground for aspiring holy men, the contaminated mountain has become a, a den of monsters. <laughs> Reminds me of Diablo. To the den of evil. <laughs> Alright, so, first thing you do, turn around, and I don't think it's this way, is it? Sorry. First thing you do, there's a shrine over there, go around here, and collect the very first Kadama of this stage, which luckily, I believe, just so happens to be a healer Kadama, which is really good, because now we can get the healer blessing again. And here's the thing with the healer blessing, like, I realize that I've got like a stupid amount of um, elixirs now, but um, you also want to be careful because even, like, even though I have so many, uh, wait, what talisman do I want? I want water, actually. Even though I have so many, um, I also want them to, to drop while I'm playing the game rather than just going to shrines to refill them. So there is that too. All right, now before we actually use the Kusurigama, because we completed the veteran missions, it actually has uh, one or two... What's this one here? Yeah, this one's okay too. I haven't used this before, but... It looks pretty insane, Renegade Dragon. Deliverance is good though. Uh, follows up a combo with a Kusurigama Slash. So there it is. So literally on any uh, combo you can use Triangle to um, to create a... Uh, is it that one? Oh, I'm looking at Axe. <laughs> you can use Triangle to end a combo. So I want to use it on High Stance. Uh, I want mid stance to be tangle strike and I want low stance to be deliverance as well So just to show you square 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 triangle. That's what it looks like uh, The mid stance one with tangle strike was this this triangle triangle That was the extra hit from that one and then low stance is this 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 and that I'm kind of sticking to the um, How can I put it like? whichever one is doing the metal weight which is the high stance and low stance. I'll use that deliverance. Sure is nice armor for a bunch of cannon fodder. I'm guessing he means like 
whoever they were fighting had good armor despite them just being like small fry, I guess. So this is an interesting, this is the first time they do this in the whole game. You got like a fight against three enemies here. But um, I guess they're on opposing sides and then when you actually finish them off, one of them becomes a revenant and see how it says cut down by outlaw? That can actually say cut down or killed by William if you, you're the one that actually uh, delivers the killing blow, which I actually think is quite cool. So again, even literally on the last, one of the last three or four missions of the game, the the developers were still trying stuff, you know, they, they came up with, with this other thing where they like developed all the other missions, they're like, hey, why don't we try this? And again, like, obviously I don't know if they did the missions in order, it's actually quite unlikely that they did. But um, the fact that they still tried to add stuff this um, late into the game is pretty cool. I'll handle the rear, please master hurry and escape. Um, yeah, is this a wheelie? No, it's this guy, okay, good. This, this is good. Because this guy can go down like a sack of potatoes. Bang, done. Alright, so this is actually quite an annoying room, because uh, literally all you've got in this room is uh, two potential shortcuts. So there's one there, and there's one there. What is going on with my arrows? I thought I was supposed to get refilled when I end a mission. Let me just check this. Uh, so basic game settings, R1, R1, auto refill from storehouse at mission start, on. So that means that I don't have arrows. How can I not have arrows? <laughs> That's <laughs> so insane. Alright, maybe I should buy some at the Parksmith, because they're very useful. Um, and also, before I actually continue, let me check those titles. Um, when I have a look, not there, there. Alright, we've got seven more to kill with this, so let's just do it. Bang. Nice. Good shot. Good damage. Great, I lost one of my shin guards. More arrows. Ah, ah, my leg. I think I actually did those too quickly. Here's an amrita memory, the defeated. Fate has happy surprises for those defeated in battle. Most soldiers lucky enough to escape with their lives go on to meet other wretched ends. Even if a man attempts to crawl away from, from a battlefield, the odds of his enemy failing to notice are slim. It is but a matter of time until the victors find him, strip him of all his belongings, and cleave his head from his body. War. War never changes. Alright, so this little explodey thingy is an explodey thingy. So just shoot it with um, with something. This guy is, I believe he's the first enemy that we've run into that actually uses, uh, what's, what you call it, Tonfa. And uh, yeah, don't don't um, don't treat tr treat him lightly. He he can be quite strong. Sa Sayo Arashi. I haven't seen that one before. I don't think, or at least if I have, it's very uncommon. Uh, newest. Wind, okay. It looks so cool, I don't know if you, you probably didn't catch it there, but the the actual items look is awesome. Okay, let's, uh, no, let's stick with the bow. I want to at least try and unlock the next bowman thing. So this should kill this guy almost certainly. Beautiful. And I thought there was one more, but doesn't appear to be. Alright, so there is a shrine here. Um, it's the most annoying one, but yeah. So I'm going to use this shrine. Maybe I shouldn't have, I don't know. I'm going to use it. Um, we're almost at the end of this episode anyway, so... Um, yeah, we'll get it done. Fully Fledged Samurai. Hey, what a way to get an another trophy. So that is for, I'm pretty sure it's for get reaching level 100. We can test that real quick. Holy God, that did a lot of damage. I feel... Anytime you can beat, like, especially a guy dressed completely from head to toe in strong armor. Oh, it's probably the guy that I killed before. Anytime you can beat those guys in one shot. Hello. Oh, sorry, in one combo um, is, yeah, means you're doing pretty well. Um, hang on, so what did I... Oh, the level. Um, yep, yeah, 100. Cool. So we are at level 100. Yay! I think I might practice them on about 115, so decently far. Damn. One, two. Did not expect him to reach. Oh, that's good. Phew, boy. That close combat damage really came in handy. So he's an Odachi user. One, two, three. Tangle, strike. 
Alright, so Tangle Strike is good, but it's not good if you knock the opponent out of key uh, on the second last hit there, um, because he gets pushed back. Hello. What are you doing? That was pretty good. So, this guy has quite a bit of health. Come on, break his guard. Look at this. <laughs> Literally don't stop pressing square. I hope to see you at Namba again someday. Oh, here we go. Here's an example. Cut down by William. Isono Heisaburu. Okay, so he was like a semi-special uh, enemy. So I've got to be careful here. I think I'm just going to, since he likes to attack, I'm just going to hold L1 when um, when he does knock him to any, nothing. I was trying to, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we're done. Um, I'll quickly... do I want to? Kind of. Yeah, let's just quickly take out the other guys again. Wow, that was terrible. Give me this. I don't know what caused me to use so many... arrows before. Ah, so close. Nice. So yeah, this is actually a decent um, stage. It, when I was practicing it, it didn't really feel like it, but after I got Deliverance and started getting used to the Kusurigama again, I realized this is actually quite a decent stage to use it. So um, yeah, make sure you practice it because I feel like, I mean, look, it's not mandatory, but it's nice to know how to use all the weapons. And uh, I definitely say use it because I have no idea if I'm gonna require, like, I'm sure some of those double missions can be done much easier with um, with different weapons other than just the sword, so try and start practicing. Um, guide Kadama to shrine, yeah, we'll get him and run back to the shrine and then we'll be done. Yeah, try and start practicing because um, it, it can come in handy later. So I think that's why I've kind of set up the guide that way to get you guys to try and practice other weapons. Anyway, we'll leave it there. So I want to thank you all for watching episode 71 of Let's Platinum Neo. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.